trade tensions are weighing on the markets. We were just showing you those futures. Let's look at them again. Actually, we're seeing now a little bit more of a sell-off in the pre-market. The Dow down, down 155. S&P is down by 13. NASDAQ is down by 18 points. U.S. futures taking a hit this morning. There are reports that President Trump has now approved tariffs on $50 billion worth of Chinese goods. An official announcement is expected today from the White House. The president's approval coming after a meeting yesterday with top economic officials, including Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin, Commerce Secretary Wilbur Ross, and Trade Representative Robert Lighthizer. Now, the affected imports would face 25 percent tariffs. Joining us now, Melissa Armo of StockSwoosh.com. Uh, Melissa, let's get your take first on the response. Well, first off, the market response. We're seeing quite a sell-off this morning. Definitely. I was surprised when I got up this morning how big we were down. I mean, we were all aware that these tariffs were coming up this week, but I think we're down a lot this morning, and I would be shocked if we don't fall today because the market really didn't rally a whole a lot this week where I thought we would after the summit. I thought we'd take off like a rocket, and we really did it. And we kind of just held, we were strong, we held, and now we're gapping down big this morning. You know, it's interesting because it's kind of been an on-off situation with a potential trade war, whether we're talking about the Europeans or the Chinese or the NAFTA negotiations, mm -hmm. which are frankly falling apart between Canada and Mexico and the U.S. Of those three things, what's the most, the biggest concern that you have right I now? I think the biggest concern is tariffs. The, the market overall for the last few months has not liked tariffs. The right. market reacts negatively every time there's something out on the tariffs, and we haven't seen enough of a rally over the area for the S&P, at least, to get back over the highs or the Dow. Mm -hmm. the, the NASDAQ has had a great run, though, I'll say that, and that's been tech. I mean, Amazon made new highs yesterday. Netflix made new highs yesterday, but overall the market does not like tariffs, and that's the biggest mm -hmm. that's the biggest thing that I see that would hinder us from going higher in the months in the, in the upcoming months. You know, I've got Mitch and Jack with me from Shinnecock Hills, and I want to go out to both of you on this issue of the sell-off that we're seeing, guys. Mitch, to you first, that trade war, investors having a pretty rough reaction today to what has frankly been talked about for weeks, that we would have a very uncomfortable uh, trade war going between ourselves and the Chinese. Now it seems pretty pretty clear it's going to happen. And, and Cheryl, I'm a little honestly surprised that the market's reacting. And I, I do agree that the market doesn't like tariffs, but I think it's been pretty well uh, communicated and telegraphed by the administration that tariffs are going to be a strategy that they're going to use to get Chinese and, and some other countries' attention. Uh, we'll see how the day plays out in the markets, but I wouldn't at all be surprised if uh, as the news uh, evolves over the day that the market could even turn around today. And Jack, I mean, you, yeah, I agree with me. Yeah, Jack, I was just going to say you, you are you're yeah. a, you're a, you're yeah. a double threat, frankly. I mean, you're on the financial side of the business as well as the <laughs> former football player in all of this. What do you say about the markets right now, Jack? I think it'll recover really fast. I don't think this will be, you know, a, a long term situation. I mean, we have tariffs, but at the end of the day, you know, the Trump administration are using these tariffs to also negotiate uh, on other foreign policy, uh, obviously with uh, North Korea and all sorts of things. So I think it's just the beginning. I think you'll see uh, a lot of back and forth over the next uh, probably couple months. Uh, but at the end of the day, you'll see some stability come back into the marketplace.